guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna show you how to get the morph mod for 1.17. It's not really a morph mod anymore. This is a context, but it's not a morph mod now, it's like a command block thingy. And you see, I'm not actually touching anything. It's doing itself, um, because uh, you will see why it does, it does this. So here's the command blocks. You need a repeating command block. So you just do a slash give your name here. This I'm using a cracked client right now. So yeah, you you will see why I'm invisible. Then you do a slash p, which is the nearest player, and then you type Minecraft this, or you can actually do it without but it's just more work so you can just do a repeating command block you just you can type just rep and then it, it gets it then you get the repeating command block then you can uh, do a redstone clock I will not be doing that you just do two command blocks and repeating like that so they're always active and always active but I'm gonna show you the commands you don't do not destroy them like I did you just do always active then the first command you can do, it, it doesn't matter, but then this is the command. So you can, uh, I'm gonna leave it a little bit so you can see it and you can pause the video right now. So, and then if you have type in it, then um, you click done. And then this is the other command. This thing, this thing here is very important. And uh, this is a, uh, buy the quality thing right now because um, I'm doing this on a laptop which only has like 4 gigs of RAM and it's not very optimal and I'm in a not very good place to make these videos but I just have to do it because this is the I want to upload a video and this is the only computer so you type this and this is very important it doesn't have to be this, but you can have it. You can just do it like this or something like that. And then you've done. If, if they are always active, I will tell you, you should do. I have it already done, so it won't be messy. Game rule. Command block output. False. So it won't do any command blo block output, so it doesn't like spit the commands. And now this is not working. So then you, the name you typed here, you have to actually use it as a name tag. So you oh, so you uh, get the command block. I'm sorry, this is a hard to do on my laptop because the right click and click is actually like the touch patty thing too, so it's hard. Then you uh, put the name tag in. You sh should be name tag just. Or if you have already name tag and then you want to use it. Uh, caution, you need creative and cheats on. You can actually, after that, you can actually switch to survival. You just uh, need these name tags. So you just type your name. I have none. They are case sensitive. So if you type like this, you actually have to type the name as like this. And here's a thing. Then you just do the name of a mob it you find and then you have it so this is the easiest thing uh the problem is if you have a, a bat it's fine it i know it just it comes to you and it doesn't actually interfere with your walking but like these pet uh, things and do so i can show you like this one oh yeah and if you are not invisible then you type something wrong so you should have this effect this instant health is not needed it's just i just did it so i won't die and you see <laughs> now uh, you can actually have two at once but that's a little weird you see so it's just anything which the, with the name of that entity so and then if you want to kill them you can just uh, do it with an axe or something i will not kill the kitty oh yeah if you uh, do a slime, it's not a good idea because it just spawns like a thousand of them. Sorry, sorry, cat. So yeah, 
You just can't name anything. I'm just gonna be a chicken for now. Come here, come here. Okay, so you can, you sh see, you can right click. Some mobs will be weird a little, and your and your actually character will be faster than the mob. I can show you this. So how it works, it actually teleports to you if you understood by the commands, and then it just teleports to you every time, and then you can see. I'm actually further, but the pet is like there. I actually noticed something very good, and I could say it's basically a vanilla edition. It's a vanilla edition of the um, morph mod. You don't need anything to install, but I would recommend actually getting fabric and getting the identity mod. I can show a video how to get fabric. So yeah, and then if you guys want it, you can comment it down and I will uh, sometimes check the comments and see if you want it. And if you want it, I can do it. Uh, next time will be more professional because I will have maybe a better microphone I don't know I don't know how good is my laptops and my phones and so so you can see and this is basically it uh, you already have it you can use it for maps so but you can uh, you can just do credit you I don't really care but it would be very very nice of you if you do it in map and then you actually do uh, some credits so you can see it, when you jump down they actually don't take damage because they're teleporting to you they don't like fall down and take damage well they like do like some sort of that thing but they actually don't because they're like just teleporting and if you go super fast you can actually outrun them you can actually outrun the mobs. So yeah, uh, this is basically it. So if you like this video, uh, click like and subscribe. And most of my viewers are not actually subscribed because this is a not a low channel. And I would uh, appreciate it if you subscribe. This took me about a um, like 10 minutes to work out how it works and stuff and then it took me two minutes to figure out it so and i would very like if you liked and subscribed and if you could you maybe make you like comment and i would very like that this is axolotl and i will see you next time okay bye